All right then. What's cooler than being cool? Being in Bogota because it's king cool. Anyways, I'm back here in Bogota, spending my last few days in Colombia, here in Bogota because of the international airport. And today will be slightly different. I'd like to share some travel tips over here in Colombia. I think this could be a very informative video for people who are who are coming to Latin America or Colombia for the first time, like myself. Number one, the ultimate rule, don't be flashy. There's a saying here in Colombia, there's an idiom, no da papaya, which is translated literally as don't give papaya. You know, like Singapore, how you say don't yaya papaya, you know, don't attract attention, you know. Yeah, so don't be flashy, don't come here with your expensive clothing, don't dress like, don't stand out basically, no jewelry, gold chains, gold watches, everything, just leave it at home, you know, the only person that you'll be impressing are the, the robots, you know. Artificial rain. Another thing, I think it's very important, you try to learn a little bit of Spanish. Learn those important phrases like Cuanto cuesta? How much does this cost? Or Ayuda me? Which means help me? Or Donde esta? Where is a particular place? Uh, this will be helpful because I think majority of the people here in Colombia they don't speak English. So yeah. Another tip is for transportation, try to use the Uber instead of taxi. Be patient, you know, sometimes the Uber can take like 10 or 15 minutes waiting time, but it's worth the wait. It is way safer. Uber will send out receipts and all the information to your email. So in case you get robbed, you know, because there are cases of people getting robbed in by taxi drivers. So in case you get robbed, you can assess your email and get the particulars and report the crime to police or something like that. Another thing, try to not be alone like me, uh, especially at night, don't walk alone at night. I rarely go out at night to be honest. During the day when I go out, I don't bring a lot of things with me, maybe around $20 of cash and whenever you walk, Please be, you know, looking all around. Be aware of motorcycles, you know, with two people, two men. Most cities, they don't allow two men to fill in. Usually when they have two men without any uniform or whatsoever, usually they are robbers. Or if you do walk alone, you have to be aware of your surroundings and trust your instinct, you know. Uh, do some research about the weather, you know. Colombia is... A huge country there are several regions with different kind of climates you know yeah. and for example if you go to the coast the weather will be very hot whereas cities like Bogota or Manizales it's quite cold you know so be aware do some research and you know be prepared with the clothing and also with the high altitude you might have difficulty breathing so try to avoid some physical activities if you're not fit enough Keep your phones in your pocket. Don't use a phone when you're walking on the streets, you know. Whenever you are lost and you need Google Maps or whatsoever, enter into an establishment like a drugstore or a restaurant. Just take out your phone and see the direction and then you can exit. Even the locals do it, so, you know. It sounds extreme, but, you know, I've been doing that every time I get lost, which is like almost every time when I walk alone. <laughs> Even when you ask for directions, preferably ask directions from shops, you know, establishment, where people there are working and, you know, they'll help you. Don't just go around and ask from a stranger because you never know what their agenda, you know. It might be, he might get a lottery, you know, he might be a robber and, you know, ah, oh, this guy is a foreigner because no matter how good your Spanish is, the accent, here is mad, you know. Uh, they know whether you are local from the city or whether you're from you're a foreigner.
and this is also important if you get robbed or if somebody approaches you and asks for your things just yeah just surrender your stuff because your life is more important than whatever valuables that you have with you you know i personally, personally i don't do party if you're into this kind of party and nightlife don't leave your drinks there by its own their cases especially in the big cities like medellin uh, bogota cartagena these people they will drug you with a drug called scopolamine or scopolamina in, in spanish this drug will make you you will kind of you know listen to the person who is talking to you so if the person say please give me your watch your phone uh, let's go to your hotel and you know give me your valuables you will willingly do it i put a few links of videos about this particular drug i think it's very important for people who likes to go out on a night out you know take a look at those videos and learn about the consequences of the drug do not speak about pablo escobar to the locals you know i know some of you might admire him with all that pollux documentaries or shows in in narcos but some of those documentaries you know they kind of uh, glorify him as a hero a robin hood kind of shit the reality is people here you know a lot of people lost family members friends you know from the things that he has done and some of the people here are still affected from all those tragedies that happen the violence that happened and they are also quite ashamed of colombia being known as you know drugs and narco trafficking it's true but you know there are a lot of other things about colombia which is way more interesting to talk about anyways i'll be leaving colombia pretty soon i've enjoyed every minute of it and hopefully Hopefully one day I'll return. Hasta luego, folks. Próximos a